Okay, hi there, welcome to another Ben Golding Guitar Masterclass. Today we're going to have a look at the beautiful, beautiful Fast Car by Tracy Chapman. Um, quite a straightforward song, so you can even have a stab at it if you're a beginner. Um, but if you're a bit more intermediate, you'll probably be able to get the whole thing nailed pretty comfortably. Um, also, don't forget, if you want to keep in touch with any of my music or local gig information, you can do so at www.bengolding.co.uk or check out the Facebook group, Ben Golding's Open Mic. Also, I'm on Twitter at Open Mic Ben. Okay, so let's crack on and have a look at Tracy Chapman now. First step, get a capo and put it on the second fret. This is because we're going to be playing it in exactly the same key as the wonderful Tracy Chapman version. And what we'll do is, before we have a look at the chords, we'll have a look at the nice finger-picked bit that everyone knows from the beginning of the song. Just give you a quick shot of that one. So we're going to try... Okay, so we'll start off with this one. You get your finger on the third fret on the fifth string. That note there. And what you do, the first thing is to pluck that note, the fifth string, and also an open second string. Just like that. Okay, so it's the fifth string and the second string with your third fret on the fifth string being held down. Okay, then all you do, the next two notes, you're just adding the first finger on the first fret of the second string. So you do the first one open with the bass note, add the first fret second string, and then you take it off again. So it's an open second string. So it's going open, and then first fret, and then open again on the second string. So don't forget to pluck that bass note with the first note. Okay, fifth string, third fret, that note there, and open second string. And then second string, add the first fret, and then take it off again. Okay, so if you do those together, just like that, you can hear that now, you're starting to hear the song. So it's open, first fret, open again on the second string. First fret, open again. Okay, the next thing is on the third fret, you hold down the top string, the E string or sixth string on the third fret, and also the third fret on the second string. So let's just give that a try. So it's third fret at the top, third fret on the second string. Okay, one more time, just those two together. So if we add that to the first bit, we're going and then third fret. Okay, so it's third fret on the fifth string for your bass note at the beginning, and then second string open, and then second string first, second string open again, and then third fret at the top, and third fret on the second string. Just try that a couple of times together. And then third fret. One more time. Okay. Okay, the next thing we want to do is open sixth string and third fret on the first string, right down there at the bottom. Okay. Just that there. And then the next thing is second fret on the first string at the bottom and the fourth string as an open bass note. So those two together, we're going open top and third fret on the bottom, and then we're going fourth string bass note and second fret on the first string or at the bottom. Okay, one more time, open top, third fret, and then fourth string and second fret at the bottom. So let's go slowly and see if we can put those together now. We're going, and then third fret, Open at the top, third fret at the bottom, and then second fret at the bottom, and open fourth string. Okay, very, very slowly, let's just try that a couple of times. So, and then third fret, and then second fret. One more time. Open at the top, third fret at the bottom, fourth string bass, and then second fret at the bottom. Okay, the next part of the finger-picked bit, you've just got the same thing to start off with. So you've got the third fret, fifth string bass note, open second string, and then first fret, and then open again, and then the third fret at the top. It's exactly the same thing, but then, a little bit harder, we've got open at the top, and the third fret again at the bottom, exactly how we did before, but then, at the bottom you go third, 
fifth, and then back to third. And just go three, five, three. So try that again with the bass note. Three, five, three. Whilst doing that open bass note at the top. Three, five, three. And then again, the next bit, you can still go down to the fourth fret open for your bass note. So fourth string open for your bass note. And then you try second fret and then third fret, and then second fret again. So it's fourth string bass note, and then two at the bottom, three, two. Fourth string bass note, and then two, three, two on the first string. So those two combined, you've got open at the top, third fret at the bottom, and then three, five, three, and then open fourth string, and then two, three, two. And that little tune is going on at the bottom string, the first string. So you've got open at the top and three, five, three, and then two, three, two. Let's try that one more time. Three, five, three, and then two, three, two. So let's go very, very slowly and see if we can combine those ones. Yeah? So the first bit is exactly the same. You've got and then third fret, and then open at the top. And then at the bottom, three, five, three, open fourth, two, three, two. Try that again. Third fret, and then three, five, three, two, three, two. One more time. And then three, five, three, two, three. Okay, so let's try that very first finger-picked one we did, which is slightly simpler, and then we'll alternate with the second one where you've got the three, five, three, two, three, two. So just go very, very slowly, see if you can play it with me. So the first one, don't forget to get that third fret on the fifth string for your first bass note, okay? So we've got third fret, and then simply open at the top, third fret, and then second fret with that open fourth string bass note. Second one, and then, and three, five, three, two, three, two. Okay, let's just try that a couple of times, alternating between the first one and the second one. So, and then three, and then two, second bit. One more time, third fret, and then three, and then two, second bit, third fret, and then three, five, three, two, three, two. Okay, try practicing that as much as you can. It should become pretty smooth and everything. It's not too complicated. Let's have a quick look at the chords now. So. This song basically uses C, G, E minor and D. Very, very, very straightforward. Um, we'll start off with the main bit of the, uh, of the verse or chorus, whichever you want to call it. You've got C, G, E minor and D. Um, if you're a real beginner, it might be a bit difficult because the chord changes are fairly quick. You've only got kind of one strum on each chord, so you're going to be pretty busy with this one. But this is the bit of the song where you've got C, G, E minor to D. So it's, mm, 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 mm. I want a ticket to anywhere. Been working at the convenience store. Da 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 And so on. I'm sure you recognise it. Excuse the singing. Okay, so we'll start off with this one. You've just got a C major. I'll be very quick with this. I'm sure they're quite beginner's chords, so you probably know them, but just in case you don't. C major, you've got first fret on the second string, fourth string, second fret, and fifth string, third fret. There's your C major. And then G, you've got third fret on the sixth string, second fret on the fifth string, and then third fret right down at the bottom, on the first string, there's your G. E minor, a little bit easier. You've just got the second fret, both, only two fingers, both in the second fret. You've got the fifth string, second fret, and you've got the fourth string, second fret. And then D, the last chord, you've just got the 
first string second fret. Third, uh, also, you've got the third string second fret, and then you've got the second string in the third fret. Okay, that's first string second fret, third string second fret, and then second string in the third fret. Okay, and also when you're playing these, try and bear in mind really with a C major, you're going to aim to hit just five of the strings. You're going to miss the one at the top, the E string at the top. G, all of the strings, E minor would be all of the strings, and D, you're just aiming to miss the two at the top, you're just trying to hit the four strings there. Okay, so let's go very, very slowly on this one, try and stick with me, yeah, but basically try and get the C, and then G, E minor, and D, that's the kind of pattern there. Basically, we're going C to G, and then you've got a little bit longer on the G, and then E minor to D, and you've got a little bit longer on the D. So this is brilliant practice for your chord changes anyway. Just try and keep up with me. We'll go through a couple of times on this one. So starting with your C, C to G, and then E minor, D. Start again, C and G, E minor, D. A couple more times. C and G, E minor to D, one more time, C and G, E minor to D, so that's, you know, you got a fast car, I want a ticket to anywhere, da 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 Okay, right, let's move on now. But if you are a little bit more advanced, you might want to try this one. You can do a C major 7 for your first chord. So all you do with that one is you take off the first finger. So you've just got your fourth string on the second fret, and you've got the third fret on the fifth string. A little bit more jazzy, so you use that instead of the C. And also, instead of the regular D, you might want to try D add 11, which is a bit more jazzy again. All you do for that one is you take off your first finger on the third string. So for the D add 11, you've just got the first string on the second fret, and you've got the third fret on the second string. And you can kind of hear that a little bit more jazzy, those two, C major 7 and D add 11. You might want to give that a try. Okay, let's just try the last bit of the song. Kind of like a bridge, I guess, but you've still got the same chords, nice and straightforward. But this is the bit. Next bit. Okay, so for this bit, all we do, the first step, you've just got slightly longer on each chord, which is always a bit easier, but you've just got the same pattern. You've got C, G, E minor, and D, but this time we get two hits on each chord, so we're going C, C, and G, G, E minor, E minor, and D, D. So let's just try that again. You've got C, C. G, G, E minor, minor, and D, D. Okay, so let me just try the melody in the background so you can kind of hear that fitting in there. So, driving in your cars, da 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 Okay, next bit, all you do, C, E minor, and again it's one hit on each chord, C, E minor, and then you've got D major for two hits. So let's try that, C and E minor, then D for two, and again C for E minor and D for two, and I'll just again 
again, excuse the singing, let's just get that melody in the background, you'll see. Okay, C, E minor and D for two hits. Okay, and the last thing you do before you go back into the other bit of the song again is just C, one hit, and D. That's all you do, C and D. Okay, so if we try now that whole kind of bridge section together, so it starts off C for two, G for two, E minor for two, and then D for two, and then the C to E minor, C to E minor, D for two hits, and again C to E minor and D for two hits, and then C to D, C up to D, and then the very beginning chord bit, C and G, E minor and D, and that's all it does. So let's very, very quickly, you can practice the finger pick bit on your own. Let's have a recap on the chords, um, and I'll do the melody a couple of times as well. So you've got the main bit of the song, yeah? The one hit on each chord, C, G, E minor, and D, and then the tune. I want to get to anywhere, been working at the convenience store. So on, nice and easy. And let's give a try to the next bit, the bridge bit. So two hits on each chord now, and C da 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 and G da 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 E minor, and then D C to E minor, C and E minor, and D for two, and again C to E minor and D for two. C to D and C and D back to the beginning. Da, 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 da. E minor and D. Da, da, and G. E minor and D. And that is it. That's the whole song. Exactly the same key. Really, really beautiful piece. Practice a nice little finger pick bit as well. Top, top tune. Um, give it a try, um, and I'll see you next time with more great guitar music. Take care. Keep practicing.